Hello my friends, I am Jihondo, and welcome back to Darkest Dungeon. As alluded to in our last episode, we are going after the Shrieker today, um, because while this isn't a great object, it is pretty decent, so we definitely want to have that. Um, you'll also notice I am completely out of money. What happened was when this character was resurrected a few episodes back, he lost all his skills, so I paid a fortune to get those put back up. I also upgraded the equipment a little bit. Now, that normally would be a really big deal, but the Shrieker is a special type of dungeon in that you go straight to the fight and there's no walking around, which means you don't need torches or food or any of that stuff. Um, I sometimes I'll take like bandages or holy water, and it probably wouldn't be a bad idea to have a couple of those. Um, don't really even have enough money for that even, so I guess we'll take two of those, so first two to bleed get healed and the rest will have to wait. I'm also with this party probably not even going to come close to defeating this thing, but it doesn't really matter. Um, the reason I say I'm not going to defeat, well I'll show you when it gets in, but this thing has a crazy amount of dodge. Just ridiculous. Let this thing go ahead and load. Right off the bat, a bleed attack. Awesome. Right, so what basically is happening here is, so this thing has 63% dodge, so it ignores two-thirds of all attacks. And with my luck, that's more like four-fifths. Um, now, it also has its nest, and that you can attack, and if you destroy the nest, you get a couple of, um, excuse me, those puzzling decahedron things that are worth a lot. So we're going to try and take this down, but it's not really critical. I don't really have a setup for hitting the third and fourth rank, but the... Uh, Shrieker's attack moves it back and forth a lot anyway, so it's not really a big deal. So, I mean, we'll try and attack it, because we can't hit it, but it's with that dodge, it's just not very easy. I'm going to concentrate on the nest mostly. That's gross. Oh, good. Thanks for that. Thanks for that. You see how there's like no dungeon, so makes that pretty meaningless. And I guess uh we could be the holy one today. Sure, why not? Uh we're gonna give everyone some dodge, so hopefully we take a bit less damage here. Not that it'll help, of course, but that was the theory. <laughs> Actually getting some hits in here. This is very unusual. Well, the other thing is this battle only lasts four rounds, so at the end of the fourth round it's going to use an ability called the Shrieking Flight. It gives us all 50 stress and then it leaves. So we're... Whether you're winning, losing, or otherwise, it doesn't matter. The battle is very finite. But it's a very interesting battle. Now the true test. Hold fast. Or expire. Can't help but notice that the dodge I've been doing hasn't really been doing much. Because <laughs> it doesn't seem to be missing. Oh, that one actually worked. That dodge train going. Uh, or not. Oh, syphilis for you. Delightful. See, now that it's getting down there and it knows I'm running out of time, now it's going to start dodging stuff. I know how you operate, game. I know exactly how you operate. That's a bit of a bug, it's supposed to go to everybody. 
Anyway, that's it. There's no point in continuing. We return. And with that, we pick up that. And I guess we bring that back. Great. So we inherited two diseases we have to pay to get rid of. Uh, that's going to be a bit of a problem. Oh, that's actually a pretty good one. That's a really bad one. How did you do? Decent. Not relevant. Oh, you got one of the special ones. Anytime you fight the Shrieker, you always have a chance at one of his special quirks, and we got one of the good ones. So we're going to want to definitely uh, reinforce that. Get rid of that and get rid of that. So you'll be spending a lot of time in the sanitarium. And that one's just generally pretty bad. Okay. Let each help the other, and in so doing, hmm. that's interesting. Themselves. What that says is normally, like for example, if you have like a little level one quest, I'll just pull all these guys off for a minute. And you tried to put in a level 5 guy, he'd say, oh, this is beneath me, I wouldn't bother doing this. But now I'll be able to use those guys, which means I can probably get away with a mission even without bringing much in the way of food. Like, I can do a dark run and it'd be, probably be just fine, so that's going to help a lot. Anyway, this will be just a short episode for today, but thank you for watching, and until next time, stay calm, and I hope you come and chill with me again in the next video. Thanks for watching.